But first I want to speak to you about yet another bit of daft corporate virtue signalling from a repeat offender, ANZ. Yes, the big bank that ripped off customers to the tune of hundreds of millions and was condemned as a poor corporate citizen at the Banking Royal Commission is yet again trying to convince us of how virtuous they are with this harebrained campaign. At least twice a week. Carpet muncher. Dirty. Limp-wristed. Ladyboy. Confused. A lot of people tend to say that you just haven't met the right man yet. The campaign is not just for the Sydney Mardi Gras, but also a new Google feature that proactively blocks any gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex or queer hate speech and replaces the hurtful words with love heart and rainbow emojis. But ANZ's latest bit of social commentary has not been criticised just by conservatives, it's also been criticised by those who prefer the bank to stick to banking and that includes the very demographic they're trying to help. The bank has been heavily criticised by the LGBT community for not consulting with them about the ad and they say many of them are saying this ad does more harm than good. Now this isn't the first time the ANZ has decided they are the country's moral arbiter and should preach to the great unwashed about how we should conduct ourselves. Only last year they engaged in a disgraceful bit of bullying by condemning Maria Falau for standing by her husband. ANZ's condemnation of Maria Falau was not only unprincipled and ugly, but given the bank's status as a major sponsor of netball, it can be argued that it was threatening Maria's livelihood as a professional netballer. Again, this behaviour is not new for the bank. Back in 2016, the bank devoted considerable resources in running a number of ads telling Australian girls that they are oppressed and living in a sexist society. Uh -huh. Why does he get $5? That's just the way it is. $7. It should just be how hard you work. If you do the same work, you should get paid the same money. What we're trying to tell you is that it's not fair that boys get paid more than girls. Maybe if the men noticed they were being paid more than the women, they should speak up about it. Well, guess what? It is illegal in this country to pay women less than men for doing the exact same work. And the gender wage gap has been debunked comprehensively. But why let facts intrude on a little bit of divisive activism? And who can forget this ANZ ad, where Australian girls read out statements about female disadvantage that have nothing to do with Australia before a little girl inexplicably does some karate? <laughs> Globally, less than 25% of senior management roles are held by women. Women represent 40% of the world's labour force, but control only a quarter of the world's wealth. 31 million girls worldwide are still denied a primary education. Globally, women make up less than 20% of government. Women earn up to 36% less than men. to the ads was so poor that even on woke social media sites they were roundly mocked and ANZ had to disable comments on their videos on YouTube. At the very time ANZ was lecturing Australians about sexism, equality, diversity and inclusion, they were ripping off thousands of customers. ANZ Bank was forced to pay back $682 million it ripped off customers over a 10-year period and the corporate regulator launched federal court action against ANZ over more than $1.3 million allegedly illegal transfer fees. ANZ also ignored repeated requests from the Australian Securities and Investments Commission to compensate thousands of customers inappropriately sold banking products and a raft of other offences uncovered in the past two years. Perhaps ANZ should focus their efforts on real corporate governance and increasing service standards or lowering exorbitant fees 
instead of indulging in vacuous and intellectually dishonest grandstanding on contentious social issues.